Mr. Javed Nurani, you work as a senior researcher with the organization Integrity Watch Afghanistan. Over the recent years, there has been a lot of discussion about the resource wealth in Afghanistan, reaching up to three trillion US dollars. What do you think is the reality about these resources and how does this impact on the people of Afghanistan? Right, as a, as a common citizen of my country, I think uh, the the news when it came uh, sounded very sweet to hear because uh, we we saw wealth in it we saw cash in, in coming from the new, I mean natural resources but uh, looking at it as a as a you know somebody who understands a bit about the sector and taking you know technical views into account and and geolog geologists uh, concerns about you know this news I think uh, oh, you can't simply give uh, A deposit value unless you dig deep and you know see the location of the mine and then analyze the content and the quality of the uh, mineral uh, and and that's when you can actually give the estimation so the news was good but you know an analysis of that news uh, uh, had negative impact because like me every other Afghan started expecting a lot and their expectations uh, shot up Uh, and uh, somehow the, there's some sort of suspicion about anybody who comes to Afghanistan. They consider people, those people, as people hunting for natural resources of the country. Why do you think the discussion came up in this particular point of time? Well, um, that's a question that I asked myself, and the only answer that I could find was, you know, the fatigue uh, among. Uh, Uh, the international community that was like paying a lot of money for uh, to our budget and and uh, other activities of the state so they thought uh, I, it's time you know that the country could generate its own internal uh, revenues and and then you know to sustain itself uh, but it's not it's, uh, that simple as it's like considered do you think that Afghanistan actually has the institutional capacities and the structures to go that way? I think if you can start with by, by saying that when we, any other country, all discovers, you know, natural resources, the first step towards, uh, you know, developing the sector uh, would be, you know, a vision uh, based on which, uh, it will, a vision founded on the realities of the country, the interest of the country, the needs of uh, the country, And then, you know, the, a step towards, you know, the building the legal framework where you put your laws in place and, and policies and regulation. Um, and then uh, the institutions, you know, to implement those policies and the laws and all. Uh, I think we are uh, in the process of building those, but we are, we are very slow. I think we, we have to speed up because uh, if you look at the contracts that are given uh, to private companies, um they're at a higher pace than the capacities of the state you know to regulate uh, those uh, contracts or implement those contracts or uh, to regulate the sector so th there's a sort of you know dis uh, imbalance in 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 the state institutions in the, the way we are giving contracts uh, i mean uh, in the development of sector so the one of the parties is weaker than the other one so it automatically creates some sort of uh, Um, you know, uh, hurdles. So, I mean, let's talk a little bit about these uh, needs and interests of the, those local community people. I know that you have been traveling a lot in Afghanistan. You have been uh, conducting your research in various different areas in the country. So what what are the interests of the people there? So, uh, when a company moves in and starts uh, you know uh, operation around and then normally mining companies would require a lot of land you know uh, in the area where they are operating around the mine so or displacement is one of the most automatic thing you know you uh, you will have to tell communities to keep away from uh, uh, mines and they'll they'll have to leave their um, property especially agricultural and and residential to shift to another place What do you do in the interim? You know, they they are not going to be earning from the new place. If you're going to allocate a new place, uh, they'll have to develop it. They'll have to build their houses, and and it will take time, resources, you know, to to do that. Um, and 
it's a it's a state obligation a government's obligation you know to make sure that the citizens are un, not unnecessarily exposed to threats and uh, displacement is a source of threat you know take over of their land acquisition of land is a threat to people you know uh, so we think you know uh, their interests are very important uh, now the legitimacy the legitimacy of the state comes from uh, grassroots uh, the citizens uh, their interests uh, uh, have to be protected by the law uh, by the constitution promises them and and the law has to uh, protect them now when i'm more, what we have been like asking advocating for is okay if a mining company comes welcome we don't oppose you know investment but we also see the interest of local communities there they will have to be provided with jobs at least some sort of uh, you know uh, development projects like school clinics better roads drinking water probably employment to them in the mining sector just to increase their stake in the project the people will have to look at the success of projects as their success their choices will be expanded you know from a secure human security angle you know if you in, uh, educate them better if you provide them better healthcare if you uh, give them much better connectivity to the urban centers and then you also start this process of exchange with urban centers and then you bring a very peaceful change in the in the attitude of people you urbanize them auto- automatically through this process and uh, i think this is uh, like a very very peaceful smooth process to 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 bring change in the attitude of people and yet you expand their choices uh, and and bring them closer to the state and and uh somehow you inc- you increase their stake in the stability and peace of uh, the country